Hello, 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 and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Whippet, the spry Spriggan, as he treks through the dungeon. The last we left off, I had taken on the Orcish Mines, finished getting my buckler of strength up to, uh, skill up to 9 so that I could turn it off, uh, and switched on armor skill while my dodging continues to skyrocket out of control. Uh, fighting is up at 11.8, which is reasonable, and I'm just going to keep all three of these skills on for the time being. Slings are reasonable. Evocations could stand to go a little bit higher so that I can have my... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? My switch blink acts uh, ready to go faster if needed. And uh, I was give God gifted this resist electricity capable sling, which I don't anticipate ever using. But I have found in the past that having a source of resist electricity can save your life when you are a spriggan running for it. So, so we're we're keeping it. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm just curious, but there are several hundred stones in the dungeon. And that's not sling bullets. Only 30 sling bullets here? Eee, okay, so there is significantly less sling bullets outside my hand, though I do have sh just shy of 100 in my hand. <clears throat> right, right. Uh, only other things I want to check on are did I forget any good jewelry? And did I forget any interesting armor that I meant to go back and check on? I saw something that was artifacty. A fine animal skin. Well, where the hell did I miss that? It could be better than my troll leather. I'm actually going to take the time. Control F, artifact, and armor. A. I'm going to take the time to go and grab that really quick. Use an ID scroll on it, figure out what it is. Uh, nothing sucks worse than... I mean, many things suck, but it sucks to leave behind a valuable piece of equipment and... When it's unnecessary, it's even worse. Unnecessarily left behind, it's even worse. Okay, uh, ID this, and then we can ditch it. R poise, MR, damage plus three. That's a keeper. That's a good armor. Let's see what it does to my AC to wear this. Minus two to AC, plus one to evade. Uh, it makes my ring of poison resistance superfluous. MR is an unnecessary property IMO on the Spriggan. Damage plus, I'm fairly sure, will stack on my my rapidly attacking weapons, though. So I actually kind of like this. I prefer my troll leather armor, though, for its effect. But I am a, a worshiper of Trog, who has regenerate at the cost of a tiny amount of piety. I hardly need more regenerate sources. So we're going to ditch... The troll leather for the time being. We might come back for it later. We might not. Uh, okay. Uh, let's move on with the the game then. Uh, I don't anticipate anything particularly interesting happening, unfortunately. Uh, once you clear the the lair and the orc mines, there's a segment of general dungeon crawling that takes place, and especially if you are already fairly powerful or fairly well equipped, it just tends to be a period of steady exp growth, which is important but also not necessarily terribly interesting. Normally I like to have something else to talk about during this time period, but uh, honestly guys, I've been on, on one of my more intense rotations for medical school right now. The fact that I have time to continue this run at all is, is something of a gift. Uh, let's... Wait, this is Psyche. Why are you risking your life to her doubtlessly distorted weapon? Velocity... Quiver me some... Flame and just peg it much better. So, uh, as you all may have noticed, until there's something interesting to talk about, I might as well just talk about other things. Uh, I have begun a series of vids across multiple other games that I play on different topics. And most recent among them would be the addition adi of. Mercenary Kings, which is an action game. Uh, not one of my usual genres for this channel, but still something I enjoy a lot. And as somebody who's beaten Super Meat Boy it's, and, and plays a lot of Monster Hunter, I've been itching to put some of that up. So I do hope that even if you're not necessarily interested, you'll you know give it a glance. It may not be your cup of tea, but you might surprise yourself and find you enjoy what there is to see there. Okay, next. Uh, velocity. Wow, one hit kills. Excellent. 
scissor you up. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how much I'm going to do, but I'm probably going to do, at the very least, the first three or four skill levels or tiers of missions for that game. And many of these games that I play are available on Steam, so, okay, we just got shafted. Things became serious. Eye of Draining is virtually meaningless against me. Um, Model Dragon is not that big a deal, but spending a moment to ID that the level is going to be huge. Obviously, this area is going to be a fortress of some kind. There's one, two staircases up there, one here, an unknown possible portal there. I'm going to go ahead and initiate a teleport right now. Because this area of the level is, there we go, pretty far away from where I was trying to get to. Alright, we got acid and, or slime, and you know what? Let's go back down the floor. Go back down the floor. Let's. I, that was that. I, I don't know what it was that struck me, that rubbed me the wrong way about that room. But I, I'm now that I'm thinking about it, it probably has to do with the fact that. Ugh, are you guys vulnerable to silver? Okay, well it's not saying, so let's find out. It probably my my concern probably stems from the fact that it was a wide open layout, and wide open layouts on virtually unknown floors leave more opportunity for me to get flanked, which which can be deadly. So better to go upstairs where I at least have already ID'd the floor and know the way. Okay, again, wide open layout. But I'm in the corner, so no ability to be flanked. Honestly, taking the red stairs up is a very tempting option. It'll get me one closer to the actual floor that I was on. But entering a floor with no knowledge, of, with no safe retreat stairs, could prove to be even bigger a mistake. And right now, I'm not being threatened imminently, so let's let's not let's not push too far too fast. Okay. Now we are very much opening ourselves up to being flanked, so let's back off shortly. Uh, scrolls of vulnerability, invisibility, and brilliance, nothing of note. Although that channel staff would have been wonderful if I was playing a mage. Sack you to my gods. There we go. Things to be concerned about and things to be excited about. Uh, and they're both the same thing, Sandra. Uh... You know what? Three steps to the stairs. Let's see if we can get out of here without waking her up. Beautiful. Now let's wake her up. And we can always get out if we want to still get out. Uh, Quiver, the most dangerous thing I have. So flame, probably, will proc on a brand. Boom. Knockout. And I was on the stairs, so I could cure out of whatever she would have cure read me with, and then bailed as needed. Of course, one hit of her distortion and I could have been in the abyss, so. There was an element of risk no matter how I approached that situation the moment I decided to stay. Still, now she's dead for later, which is great. And we're getting even more sling bolts, which is even better. Okay. Seems like a bad layout, but honestly, these are just kobolds, so. Once they start showing me more dangerous enemies, I I'm not going to leave the, the comfort of the stairs, though. So, you know. Take it slow, play it safe. Honestly, shafts are one of my favorite traps in this game. I really feel like it turns what could have been a, a mundane experience into an interesting one. And without ever feeling terribly unfair. Unless, of course, you get shafted into the middle of a clusterfuck that instantly kills you. That's just straight up unfair. I don't mind saying that. I don't have to go back down here yet, but it's a convenient way to explore more of the next floor. So I'm going to. Uh, you mutagenic folk are going to hate silver, so I'm definitely going to hit you with it. Did you just drop a aura that would damage your own... Whatever. Quiver me that silver. And nail you with it. Alright. Okay. And now that they're down, we'll just finish the rest of them off. Grab these stones. I forgot to actually sacrifice that corpse. Please correct this mistake. And you know what? I feel lucky. 
So, velocity, please. Quiver me the fire. And let's take on Gastronok from here. And I was joking about feeling lucky. It wasn't luck that I was feeling, it was confidence. I had plenty of means of obscuring his vision with uh, fog or bailing if things got at all dicey, and enough heal wounds to correct any smite damage he dealt. Hat of Pondering. I don't need half the properties, and Ponderousness is so bad that it alone would have been a, turn -off, a sufficient turnoff to not use it. An ID'd Amulet. I have the Remove Curse to test wear it, but if it turns out to be Faith, I'm going to feel bad. Ah, I'm already wearing a Cursed Amulet. And test wear did not reveal its nature, which means it's probably nothing of concern to me, but there you have it. Hey, bad guys, come here. I want you now. I have resist poison. These guys don't have the damage to really damage me. This is very one-sided. Uh, I'm not back to the floor I was on yet, but I'm already starting to feel in control. Oh, right, I'm a Spriggan. I was trying to find the gloves that I knew I had left behind, but I'm a Spriggan. I can't wear them anyway. Well, might as well try out this new sling. 0-5 beats 2-1 any day, so please ditch the 2-1 in favor of the one that's more likely to hurt instead of the one that's more likely to hit. Uh, next floor up. Explore. Uh, you probably are going to hate silver. And you may or may not be vulnerable to fire. Let's find out what your deal is. Immune to poison, resist cold doesn't say anything about your preferences to silver so velocity quiver me silver boom pits does not sear and he's already got a cloud of minions up so let's just back you know what no go in just go in there cut him up with your cutlass and then we can worry about these minions in fact stand by this trap so that half of them die to the trap and the other half don't bother coming to you at all okay good 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 I mean, I grant that I am dodge tanking right now, which is always a all-in risky prospect, but it's also generally pretty reliably safe um, to do. Would really like to have more AC. I should really just train my armor up until I can do something ridiculous like dragon armor or something. Not necessarily the strongest dragons, even just something. Come on, get in there. Beautiful. I don't know how much repel missiles helps your uh, ability to dodge projectiles, but I feel like I'm I'm that strong baseline. Also faster than a retreating yak. <laughs> Chasing him around the level. Alright, well, let's go up a floor now. And this is where we got shafted from, I believe. Shouldn't take long to clear the floor out. Brrrr, tab fighting. Spriggins, cut your eyes. Tab fighting. I'm back in disguise. Uh, drop half the stones, or let's drop 60 of my stones, since I'm becoming progressively less and less reliant on them. Next floor. Never go to zero, by the way. You never know when you'll have that slime that will make you wish you had it. Okay. Uh, hmm, I forget, but I'm pretty sure it's warding. No, not warding that I'm looking for. Conservation, protection from fire, life protection, magical power, resist mutation. Resist mutation is generally a good amulet to have around. But it's not going to be particularly relevant for a little while longer. Because uh, I won't have warning that that's what I need, typically. And um, at the cost of 640, there's a good chance that I'll find another one just lying on the floor. Of these other rings, nothing here really impresses me except protection from fire could be kind of useful. I'm just not going to bother with them. Speaking of slimes that don't eat stones, uh, where's my velocity? There, and quiver me ordinary stones, because they do eat sling bullets. Boom. Uh, okay, my, my which item has been cursed? Eat the pear to free up a spot. Quaff might. Yes, I test quaff the potion. 
Yes, it, it, it couldn't be mutations, so it, whatever it was would be pretty recoverable. And I don't have any... I do have some mutations that are worth not losing, I guess. I should be a little bit more cautious. Ugh, man. You know, it's amazing. I have zero training in stealth, but I'm so quiet, people still don't see me coming. I'm also so fast that even when they see me coming, I get seven turns before they actually manage to hit me. Especially in combat, because I'm using such a fast weapon. Uh, okay, you guys could actually prove to be a little bit concerning, so let's pull you back. Alright, 63 health is enough that a second tier slime could kill me. Not a first tier slime. 46 health, yeah, let's back away. And that's a paralysis eye. Let's regenerate. That's a Naga and Draining. Let's get the hell out of here. And get away from the Paralysis Eyeball. Okay. Here we will just quickly butcher us a troll. And by butcher I mean cut, not actually butcher. I already have the troll hide that I would have been going for. Constriction is terrifying, but with my evade I sh and my small size, probably going to be... Actually, small size I think is a disadvantage, right? Uh, when trying to resist strangulation or constriction. Oh wow, beautiful cache of food. Yeah, just ignore the food for now. It's not that important. Come back for it whenever. Uh, I don't want to charge him down and then start hurting him, so we'll just stay where we are and stone him. Eat the pear, grab the scroll. Alright, which one were we pumping? We were pumping the velocity, I believe, and I'm using that currently, so... Scroll of enchant, scroll of enchant, scroll of enchant, three fails, perfect. Uh, read. Scroll of torment, that sucks. Let's untorment myself. Oh, whoa, 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 watch yourself. Okay, whip out the sling of velocity, quiver me the fire, anything that adds a damage brand basically, and take them all out. Penalty, 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 penalty. Okay, if he had left a corpse, I would have butchered him on the off chance I got his armor. Make sure to insert myself in such a way that they don't form super slime. And that's a kill. 2-5 velocity is inferior to my current. Okay, where to next? Next floor, of course. I seem to recall talking about this guy just a little bit ago. Uh, we're going to quaff resistance, which should give me the resistance I need to survive him. Then we are going to step in there, berserk next to him, and just take him out. I should have enough health to tank him, especially with the resistance. Oh, <sighs> that was still scary. I mean, by all rights, I shouldn't have anything to be that scared of, but... Man, this is this is Nicola. This is Mr. Tesla himself. You don't mess with him. Anyway, with him dead, I'm not as worried about carrying this around anymore. It still potentially could save my life one day, but the odds are much, much lower. So, whoa! That bolt hurt badly. Initiate regen and MR. Okay. Split the floor. Because you're all in a line, and because I'm not going to use it otherwise... Lightning t power. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to replace my potion of resistance. I have one that's enough for if it's actually necessary. Without the potion of resistance, by the way, I would never have attempted what I just did. 
what I might have done instead would be to summon two allies of Trog and made sure to run the other way while holding on to that useless sling because it is too much to get into melee when you have as little health as a Springen does total with Nicola. Okay, while I am, you know, immune to poison via my garments, I might as well carry this. Drop that. ID this. Cure mutation has been identified. Excellent. Hey, idiots, come here. I want to squash you. Ugh, okay, these guys will make me wish I had saved my lightning from earlier, but... Zap. Zap. Third zap. Okay, centaur from behind is a good reason to get out of dodge. Do I have a draining or something that'll hit them all in a line anyway? I have one more zap, which I'll use as soon as we're close enough that the centaur won't get a free arrow off. Still got a free arrow off. Take you out, back off, wield. Oh, you're starting to shoot at me, huh? Regen MR, don't take any chances. Heal wounds. Wield the sling of velocity. And I don't think that you resist flame, so. Do you resist flame? No, you don't. Okay, so flame should give me the damage I'm looking for. You don't have a bow and arrow yet. You still don't have a bow and arrow. Put it down. You don't have a bow and arrow yet. Still don't have a bow and arrow. We're done. Excellent. Excellent. New wand. New gloves. Even more exploding sling bullets. Drop another additional 20 stones, please. Uh, what was I just thinking? New wand. I want to test it. That's right. Frost is not worth even holding on to. If I'm ever going to use Frost, uh, just use it via my sling. Hey, hey dog, hey, come into this hallway. All of you. All of you. Break their ranks. Come into this hallway. I'm not going to take the chance on you guys being jerks again. Man, Captain's Cutlass does so much more damage than the Sling does it on average. It puts me at a little bit more risk, granted, but the combination is very good. Because before they reach me, I'm able to soften them up like crazy, and when they reach me, I still win in a damage trade. And of course, I'm a Spriggan, so the they reach me is not necessarily a, a, a guarantee either. I'm just going to cut him up. Burn. Alright, and that's yet another floor cleared. Uh, this area I'm actually curious about. Yeah, so clearly it was an area that was being dug out constantly, and now it's been dug out. Uh, I'm just going to get an ally of Trog in here. I have the piety to burn, and I would rather have the help for this upcoming battle. Please. Oh, damn it. How many heads do you have now? Trolls tend to add heads to those things when, when they go nuts. Regen MR. Each time I use that, I, I wish I was using my troll leather, because I would have been at almost full health right now under the same conditions. What got cursed? Mummy cursed my... Spriggan's Peril, it's fine. Anytime I would use that, I suppose it wouldn't be a problem if I'm just running away. Actually, it might be a problem, and I should probably take care of it. Let's drop. Let's go ahead and drop stuff that I clearly no longer need, and there's a lot of it now. 
I'm even gonna drop the old lightning rod, the old lightning wand. I'm not planning to recharge it. Uh, unID'd, so ID this. Clarity. I don't anticipate making much use of that. Uh, eat a pear. Free up an item slot. I wonder what was inside here that made it worth busting the door open, or was it just a breakout board that... Oh, what's that? Ooh, shiny Naga Barding. Probably lightning scales or something really valuable. And that's a titan? There's a frigging titan on floor 15? What are you guys, high? Who the hell thought that was a good idea? Titans are vaults. Eight level enemies. How the hell are you gonna put one of them here? Okay, well, if that's a real titan and not a shapeshifter or something, it's a real freaking titan. I I just don't believe. I I honestly am surprised and shocked. Um, exploring this actually may be lethal. <sighs> They could probably fling lightning and such. He's going to come after me. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the only question is, am I going to take him on or not? And I guess I am. Resist. Troll. And whip out a sling so that I can add to the DPS of this fight. F. Poison. It's probably my best bet. Past him. F. Poison. Make sure not to hit my troll in the process. F. Poison. Past him. Wow. Alright, my rock troll obviously is the only reason we got through that, but still. Anything else we can clear out before you disappear, Mr. Troll? Hey, take on the Etten. Take on the Etten. And take him on too. Mr. Smarty Pants Head Exploder. Alright, anything else before... Oh, he's not Berserk. He's going to be gone any second now. My regen MR just wore off too. Well, any piety loss I may have suffered, I obviously got back in spades for sacrificing a frigging titan. Can't believe they put that there. This is a crazy-ass vault. Well, I suppose it is a pre-placed vault, so... Maybe that somehow makes it better. I don't know. I don't really want to check the spear as much as I want to check out this. Dex plus floor. Okay, this is a really, really nice short sword. Um, unfortunately, it's still a short sword rather than a uh, captain's cutlass, so it's not going to be quite as good or quite as fast. I'm going to eat the bread ration to completely fill myself up. And, uh, yeah, no mas. I think that's good. Uh, test wear the ring, please, and then... Is not cursed on. Let's go ahead and remove some of these curses from all these items that have been cursed. Okay, it felt like a lot more than apparently it was, so whatever. And put back on my dex. Waiting on an ID scroll to figure out whether or not this ring is still worth carrying. Sack the body, and I think that about tears it. Floor is complete. Uh. And that also about runs me out of time for today. Still, you guys got to watch me take on a Titan and, and, and handle a shafting, so I suppose it's all good. Uh, more vids coming out, as always. I hope you're enjoying so far with Whip, Whippets uh, Run Through the Dungeon. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.